Gary, you've secured the signing of George Miller as your new number nine. Just how pleased are you to get that one done and dusted? Yeah, we are. You know, he come on our radar a couple of weeks back and you know, having studied his game, he looks to be the type of player that we, we haven't got in that final third. You know, his, his energy, his work ethic, constantly wanting the ball in behind, um, just gives us energy and legs up, up up in the final third. And, you know, he got a good amount of goals last year, Walsall, in a successful season for him. So we we want him to come in and do the same for us, you know, be be a nuisance up top, you know, you know, cause cause defense defense's problems in the league and you know he'll certainly do that because he's got like as I said before he, he doesn't stop you know he goes for 90 minutes and that's really what we were missing in that area yeah, 12 goals last season and when you look at a fair few of them they're from chasing lost causes aren't they getting in behind getting right on the defender's shoulder is it having a different type of striker was that the most important thing do you think in recruiting George in particular yeah no secret we need we needed legs we needed legs we needed willing runners um energy that can last 90 minutes and, and like you say chasing lost causes is, is it's one of the non-negotiables that I love in a football player um, fans love it they love to see their strikers chasing pressing from the front it's the modern game now you know can we can we can we win the ball back from high up high up the pitch if, if you've got strikers that can do that you give yourself a chance you know so like we're delighted to get him over the line you know there was there was competition plenty of clubs interested in him so for him to choose us after after the initial meet is is really good. It it's, shows that we're doing things right. What was it about him in particular? I assume you you're going to have a long list of of targets, aren't you, for each position? What made him the right person at this time? Well, it was more. You, you get a lot of names thrown at you. You get a lot of names put into you. But we actually we actually did this one a little bit different. We 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 gave our we gave a you know we gave a scout. A, a player profile of what we want in a striker, what we feel we're missing, the types of qualities that that player needs, and you know that's he was he was one of a few that come back. So we really studied it, narrowed it down to a couple, and we felt that George was the one. George was the one for us, and like I say, we then meet the player, uh, we present to him, show show him what we want to do, what we expect from him. And and from there it was it, it was good. We, we felt we'd done a good job. Myself and Cops met him and made him feel part of it. He, he loved he loved the training ground, the stadium, and you know it was nice to get the get the deal done quite quickly. At the age of 23, on the back of his really his breakthrough season in terms of week in week out football at, at League Two level, 12 goals under his belt as well. Do you feel you're getting him at, at the perfect time, both for his confidence levels and the fact that you can still develop him into whatever he wants to be? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it shows his calibre. Um, when some real good clubs have, have, have paid for him in the past, you know, the likes of Middlesbrough and Barnsley, you know, they've, they've took him from from when he was a youngster at Bury and. Uh, then it's been a few seasons of being loaned out, hasn't it? Some not successful, but last year a very, a very successful loan. And yeah, we, we just hope he comes in on the back of that momentum, finds this as his home. He's got a contract that secures him for the next few years. And, you know, it's I don't want to put too much pressure on him, but it, it does remind me of when John Marquis came here a few seasons back as a, as a player that's done the rounds, if you like, at loan clubs, comes here with 30, 35 career goals, but doesn't feel loved and doesn't feel at home. Now we're giving him that opportunity. So I think when you feel that way, along with the confidence of having a good season last year, it can only benefit all parties. And giving him that number nine shirt as well as, as an out and out centre forward, that's got to be a massive boost, hasn't it, for him? Yeah, we, we feel he ticks the boxes, you know. We, he can he can play up there in a two, if we play a two, and he can he can lead the line as a one with his with his running and his pressing and you know, he knows there's he knows there's parts of his game that he needs to improve on. And like I say, we'll we'll develop that. What is good is that he recognises that and he's open to he's open to improving that them parts of his games. Um so so that's that's always a, a key thing when, when players are willing and can accept you know constructiveness of where they need to improve so he's, he knows his qualities and will will maximize them and really try and super strength them and then we'll work on the things he needs to improve on to develop as an all-round striker yeah he and you have, have timed it pretty well his first day is the first day of, of pre-season he's hit the ground running hasn't he and, and met all his new teammates nice and early yeah he's he's, he's come in as well and he's, he's between between meeting him and him coming in actually signing he's, he's had a bit of an illness um 
for, for a week to 10 days. So he's felt a little bit weak, but he's, he's, his running stats were really good there in, in the testing this morning. And he's just, he's just a good character. He's a bubbly character. He'll, he'll, slot in, he'll slot into the group perfectly. And, you know, I think the lads will love him. You touched on Harrison earlier on. He's joined Harrison now as your second summer signing. Those two pieces of business you must be really satisfied with. Yeah, really, really happy. I, I think it was, I think it was there for everybody to see last year that we have, we had good, good little technical players. We had, we had good players. We, we struggled with injuries. We get that. We know that. But one of the big things missing was just natural runners in the team, natural legs, and them two can cover every blade of grass. And you know, I, I think the. Doncaster fans will be excited to see them once they, you know, once they get in the stadium and they start seeing the shift that they put in for the shirt. They'll, you know, I think they'll think they're good, they're good signings.